Hello, everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest. In the last episode, we explored the Grave of Galen to get the Lyre of Ire. And then... We... Fought the Golem to enter Cantlin. This episode, we're gonna explore Cantlin. After... Taking a very long time to get there, because I botched reading the map and panicked when I saw a Cosmic Chimera. Oh yeah, here's the bank. So, let's withdraw all our gold. Because we're going to need every last red cent to get some new equipment. And we want to deposit the fairy flute again, because I don't think we'll ever need it. Again. Anyway, talk to this guy. He sells carrots. This guy sells regular items. door. Ooh, magic key. Save that. Same thing as the other item shop. Oh, that's like a crappy bazaar. Alright, let's see. Ah, the mighty fire blade. And the silver shield. The best shield in the game. So let's sell our iron shield. And buy a fire blade. It can also be used in battle to cast Sizz, but that's kind of pointless by now. Alright, sell this for a couple gold. Oh yeah, we're decked out now. That's in this corner. Not entirely sure, but could be, man. Right. Yeah, I don't believe you can search graves and stuff like you can in other Dragon Quest games. What have you got? Eh. No thanks. What have you got? Magic armor... Has the same... Defense as the... Full plate armor. But it reduces magic damage by 25%. And... Uh, restores 1 HP with every step you walk. Oh, we can just send her through the top here. But that won't get us anywhere, because we need to enter this way, I think? Yeah. down here got okay what he's talking about 
is a special item that we need to get to get the last of the artifacts. Yeah, let's cast Zoom. Get out of there before I hurt myself even more. So now we're back at the Tanticle. I think we've done everything we could at Cantlin. Alright, so now we gotta talk to the king and save. Because it's finally time to rescue the princess. Yeah, we've been waiting to do this for a while. It's actually completely optional. But, we're gonna do it anyway, because that's what heroes do. They say princesses. With their silver shields and their flaming swords. Anyway, the princess is being kept at the Quagmire Cave, which would lead to Rimmeldar. But, she's being held in another part of the cave. Where am I? Okay, I need to go north. I mean, I could go south, but I don't want to step through the poison swamp tiles. <laughs> you go down here through the poison swamp. Which, fortunately, we won't have to deal with much longer. So, we go down this way. There should be... yeah. Hey, there's the princess! But, as is the case with a lot of games or stories of this caliber, she's being guarded by a fearsome dragon. And this asshole. Who we kill in one shot. For a second there, I thought we were about to actually fight the dragon, but now you gotta talk to him to fight him. Here you f fight the green dragon! He can't be sent to sleep at all, so we're just gonna have to grin and bear it. Fortunately, he's not that tough. Unless he breathes fire. I'm gonna heal. I mean, I've had runs where he kept killing me. And then I've had runs where I completely mopped the floor with him, like this one. So, you know. Alright, we've rescued Princess Gwalen. And let's cast Evac and then Zoom to get us the hell out of here. Anyway, let's talk to a bunch of the. Castle folk. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, 
Ah, he still says the same old thing. <laughs> All right, talk to this guy real quick. And All right. Princess saved. And let's save our game. And we get the Princess's Pledge, which will be coming you full later. And unfortunately, I think they removed the classic, But Thou Must. Or if you talk to the princess and you say no when she asks, do thou love me? She'll say, but thou must, until you say yes. Actually, I had a funny idea where there should be an original ROM hack, the original NES version, where nothing is changed except that when you ask the princess, when, when the princess asks you, does thou love me? And you say no, she says, you jerk. And, sl and slaps you so hard, you die. And get a unique game over. Thou art dead. Smooth move, X-Lax. <laughs> Alright. Oh man, we still got time to spare. You know what? I know where to go next. If you remember in Candland, some guy was talking about a shop in a ruined town. That would be Damdara. But, before we go there, I want to do some grinding first. So, I shall do some grinding and then I'll meet you back at Tanticle. And we shall make our way to Damdara. Alright, see you guys then. Alright, we're back here at Tantacle. And I decided to grind to level 17. Because at level 17, we learned the mighty mid heal spell. Which will heal us for a lot more than just the heal spell will. Also. Deposit uh, all the gold I have at the moment. And I did not want to do that, but whatever. I get more keys later. So, anyway, let's talk to the king and save real quick. So I really bump into a wall. So, now that we saved and rested up, not necessarily in that order, we're gonna head to Damdara, the ruined town. So, it's far south of Galenholm. Like... Way far south. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way. Yeah, I am. So, go up this way. I could cast Holy Protection to get rid of all these weaker enemies, but 
again, with a game as grindy as this, that's kind of counterintuitive. Even weak enemies will put... will give you experience points. It's not like Paper Mario where experience points given are based on your level. So... Down this way... Alright, we're almost there. So, here we go. Here is the ruined town of Damdara. A little sad to see it like this. This is kind of like a micro dungeon. Oh, we got a new enemy. Tear Wolf. He's actually just another vanilla enemy. Probably among the strongest of vanilla enemies. Okay, you see that sparkle up there? Be very careful before stepping near it. Make sure you're at full health and everything. Also, make sure you know mid-heal. You'll probably want mid-heal for this part. You'll probably want to be level 17. Herbs. So, once we step near the spark, we encounter this guy, the Mighty Knight Aberrant. He's actually weak to Fizzle, because he'll cast Snooze on you and start pounding on you. Yeah, he's doing like 25 damage a hit, and he's dead. Okay, so maybe you don't want mid-heal. And we get Erdrick's armor. The most powerful armor in the game. So, now with that out of the way... Oh yeah. Now we can walk around all out around these poison tiles and even the electric tiles as much as I like without having to worry about being damaged. Also, I believe it provides even more resistance to magic than uh, magic armor. So that's pretty good. Alright. So, let's zoom back to Tantagol. And then I shall make preparations for my next move. So, in the next episode, we're going to see search for the last legendary item. And then... We're going to get it. And then probably make preparations to do battle with the Dragon Lord. Alright, I will see you guys then.